everybody. My name's Craig. Welcome to my channel. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. I think the button's somewhere down here. Comment, all that stuff. Please. Anyway, uh, today I want to start my series on ethics. I don't really claim to have any like authority in this area. I just think I have something an interesting way of thinking about things. So I want to talk about ethical issues that are going on now and, uh, you know, share my way of thinking. But before I talk about ethics, I need to kind of, I feel like I need to give it a little bit of a, a, a grounding in philosophy. Now when I talk about philosophy, I'm going to use my working definitions of these things. Now there's a lot of people that talk about philosophy. There's a lot of different definitions. There's a lot of different everything about it. It's a very popular and amazing subject. You should really look into it. And, you know, hopefully by listening to this, you're looking into it and we'll get excited about it and look into it more. So, great. For me, uh, philosophy is the, the study of and the search for what is. Uh, through reason. And I know that's pretty pretty vague and it, 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 it kind of is because uh, philosophy is a really kind of big subject. So I, I want to contrast that with, uh, let's say, religion, which is the, the search for and the study of what is through revelation. And uh, I'll also talk about art, which is the study of the search for what is through inspiration. And I guess I'll contrast all that with uh, science, um, just to kind of put it on equal balances. Uh, because science is the, the study of, the search of um, the physical world, the universe, the physical universe, uh, through the scientific method with uh, empirical measurement. So these are very, those, science is a kind of a different thing. They kind of, they can overlap. All of these things can overlap a little bit. And uh, science, I believe, comes out of philosophy. You know, it takes the reasoned argument part and then adds evidence. And that's, that's science. You know, at the, at, the, at the edge of science, in my opinion, you find philosophy. So, maybe that helps you a little bit. Maybe it doesn't. But anyway, um, the next step is the you know the different sections of philosophy and I personally um, I count about five three main ones and then two that have kind of uh, come up uh, in my mind recently They've probably been around for forever um, first one is metaphysics which is uh, the study of the universe as a whole you know what kind of universe we live in um, you know, things like, they're the, they're the giant questions. Is there meaning behind all this? Is there, is there a God? What kind of God is it? Um, is the universe rational? Can you describe the universe with math? What happens after I die? These giant questions, these big questions, these often unanswerable questions, usually unanswerable questions, those fit into metaphysics. Another way of thinking of metaphysics is... First principles, another way of thinking about it is worldview. You know, how you view the world is your meta metaphysics. It's your first principles. It's how you kind of try to see and un understand. It's how you try to understand the world. And what I like to say about metaphysics, 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 is that it is the most important branch of philosophy that doesn't matter at all. And I know that's a really weird thing to say, but I say that because your metaphysics is how you filter the world. It's how you look at the world. So it informs everything you do. But what you think about the world doesn't change the world at all. You can change your, your worldview, your mental viewpoint on the world, and it doesn't matter. You know, I don't want to get into like existentialism and talk about how nothing you do at all will matter to the universe. I mean, we're just a little bitty speck 
on a little bitty planet in a gigantic universe. And so, you know, existentialism, hooray, it's fun. Um, the point of that is to say that, uh, you know, we have to be careful with our worldviews. You know, it's, it's best to have the, the, the closest worldview to reality as possible. Because when you start getting away from it, you start to end up with, like, weird delusions and bad things happen. Um, and people live and die and kill over these worldviews in their head that don't always connect with reality. And that's a problem. Sorry, that was heavy. So the next section is epistemology. And epistemology is the study of search for what is truth. You know, big T, capital T, truth. You know, it's, it's what is true, what is false, how do we know what we know. It's a fun one. It's complicated. And... Out of, uh, I think, out of epistemology came logic. But over the years, through uh, the modern era, the postmodern era, um, through American pragmatism, I think a little bit, uh, logic started to pull itself out of searching for capital D truth and started kind of more towards uh, usefulness and game theory and, uh, you know, formalizing those relationships between claims and those relationships uh, between things and uh, became more of a formal language for thought. I think that's right. Anyway, so uh, the next one, and I'm going to leave ethics to last because it's what this is about. The next one is... Uh, aesthetics, which is the search for study of beautiful, the beauty. Great. What is beautiful? How do we know it's beautiful? It's a pretty cool one. There's, in fact, a class at WT right at the moment on aesthetics, and I am bummed that I'm not in it. Um, and then the last one what this video is about is ethics, and it's the study of the search for the good. Capital G, big good. It is, you know, what is good, what is bad, how to tell the difference, right from wrong, is an action good, is an action bad. The good itself, what is it? How do we find it? All those things come together in ethics. Yeah, so... That's the kind of philosophical background of that. And I think I'm going to end it here. Because I don't want to run out of things to say in the future. The next, next week, if it's a week, no promises. Next time I'll talk about ethics and its different sections. Because I think ethics has different sections. And I'll explain what they are. You know, everything from like personal morality to uh, governmental politics. Each of those has its own little realm in, at least I think, in ethics. So I hope you all have a great day. Tell me what you want uh, me to talk about ethics-wise. I'll probably get to things like free speech, political correctness, abortion, and that one I'm scared about doing because I'll probably say what I think and then the internet will explode. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, don't give yourself to live. Peace. See ya. Hey everybody, welcome to main card. Doing this on my GoPro and a lapel that you can't see because I'm a sound guy. Hopefully it sounds great. If not, I need to reconsider my ideals as a sound guy. Hope you liked the video. Uh, Subscribe, like, I'm saying this a billion times because I'm new and I want you to uh, get involved, comment. I want you to be a part of this thing. Uh, tell me if there's any ethical dilemmas, any ethical issues that you want me to discuss and I will try to get to them. 
you have questions or want to fight me in the comments, go for it, be civil, and I'll probably talk to you. If you're an asshat, stop it. We are better than that. You are better than that. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, I will talk to you all later. Again, if you like the video, like the video. If you like me messing around with my GoPro and my other stuff at the end of these videos, tell me. If you think it's stupid, tell me that too. See ya. Peace.